All right, so for this test here, we'll be stacking 50 bricks on top of a robotic dog. You got this, you got that. Ah! I went ahead and got us this $65,000 robotic dog to go ahead and review today. Meet one of the most advanced robotic dogs we've seen yet. Meet the X30 by Deep Robotics. Would you pick a Supra or a robot dog? They both cost the same, comment down below. But does it actually perform well and does it actually have any kind of use? Well, for that, we'll be creating a variety of different experiments, including tasks such as carrying weight, as well as going through different obstacles and seeing exactly, can this robot actually perform? And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for our challenge here, we went ahead and created this obstacle course. So the first thing the robot has to do is go over this initial step and climb its way through, and then go underneath this little tunnel. So it'll have to work with this crawling aspect, making sure it doesn't hit any of the boundaries, break through the wall, pick up the question mark box, which will load on the top, of course. Finally, go to here and score a soccer ball. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna first through the stairs. to somewhat deliver our product to the final destination, which is right over there. It was able to score the soccer ball in there, break through the wall with ease and handle this obstacle course. And of course, go through the tunnel and lastly climb over the step. I have to say, it's quite impressive. All right, so for this test here, we'll be stacking 50 bricks on top of a robotic dog. Now, the point behind this is to go ahead and carry it from this point here to that point over there and see how many actually fall off. This will give us a better idea in terms of stability and how stable this particular robot is. Ah, no! You got this, you got that! Ah! All right. <laughs> so we're outside here, gonna go and try this out in the wild. Uh, and let's see what this robot can do. So I'm gonna hit start stepping. And this is as fast as it can go at a regular speed, as you can tell. Pretty nice gait. Um, and then it's actually handling itself. So there you are. And then if I go ahead and do something like a uh, run, you can see how much faster this robot can go. That is absolutely incredible. And then you can make it go all the way down there. Holy moly, look at that. <laughs> It's actually incredibly fast for what it is. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's so awesome. So you can imagine using this like out in the field, uh, definitely great for us scouting and being able to go ahead and like push it to its limits. Let's see how it handles some stairs next. Okay, for this particular part here, we're gonna be running it on the uh, slope. Ooh, it's a little bit there you go so you can see it kind of going up the slope there so this is great in terms of incline go so you can go ahead and climb i'm not exactly sure the exact angle that it can climb up at but this is definitely a pretty steep driveway all right so for this test here we're going to see how it handles stairs now previously we tried the unitry go to on this particular stair which it fell down so hopefully this robot can handle it which it theoretically should all right let's try this out all right, so stairs. All right, there you go. So it detects it right before it reaches it. That is absolutely incredible. And now I can go ahead and have it maneuver itself like this. And I can rotate it too. Let's see if it can go down sideways. I don't know if I can, but this is worth a shot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 
So you can see the sensors on its glory working and that is absolutely incredible. All right, and then over here, we're gonna see how it goes down these stairs. All right, not bad for being able to go down the stairs face front and yeah, overall pretty cool. All right, so for this test here, I'm gonna see if I can tip over the robot and see if I can make it flip. Uh, it does technically supposed to be able to get up on its own. There we go, there we go, oh, oh yes, all right. There we go, looks like it's gonna flip itself over and boom, just like that, it was able to go ahead and correct its posture and get right back up. That is absolutely awesome. All right, let's see how fast this thing can go. <laughs> Battery died. When your robot dog dies in the middle of the street, you gotta grab your jack stand here. Cause this thing weighs over 100 plus pounds. It's ridiculous. Alright, so up close and personal with this particular robot, you can see it's got two different LiDARs here on the front or the back, whichever way you want to look at it, as it also has it over there too. Um, I like to call this the front because one, it has a camera right over here. And then you have your antennas, which will go ahead and connect to our remote. And then of course you have that modular design. So you can see all these different connecting points that you can go ahead and connect to it. In terms of the actuators go, so these are actually pretty heavy duty. Uh, as you can probably already notice, it does have a uh, good amount of range of motion. Uh, your charger port, which is this guy right over here. And then of course you have your on and off button, which is that right over there. Kill switch here for emergency stop, as well as on this side here, another power button, and then a connection port if you want to connect it to a computer. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on by pressing this button here once. You'll hear the fan kick on. It does show you the battery life and twist. That'll go ahead and release it, and then press the power button here on the back. All right, so while it's booting up, let's take a look at the controller. So you actually have a really nice wide controller. You have your different toggles here in terms of your joysticks to go ahead and move it about. You have your lock ports, your aux one, aux two. Additional inputs on the top side over here. So you can see all that. We'll go ahead and boot up just like this. This is what we see. So since we already turned it on, we can go ahead and hit the power button here. The robot will automatically stand up. And right now we're in manual mode, but it also has a few different other modes, including Navi mode, which is seeing right now. So it's telling us that behind it, there is an obstacle. So we're gonna go into manual mode. Uh, we have sit, we have start stepping. Uh, we have standing height, stand and low. Uh, and then we have our record function, our toggle controls, and a few other functions as well, including connecting it via the internet. So to show you how this starts, we'll hit start stepping. Okay, you can see the robot already moving about. Now we can also rotate it by using the right joystick like this. We can rotate it the other way. And we do have a live field of view and see exactly what this robot is seeing. We can also hit stop. And we can move the actual robot up and down with our left joystick like that and if we move it left and right you can see it kind of twisting left and right and then if you use a right joystick this will give us some of the more flexibility of the particular robot uh, if we top left bottom right bottom left top right full right full left and then if we just move in a like a circular motion you can see how it kind of flexes uh, definitely is very cool and really surprising at how well it kind of move, moves its body about. So that's actually really nice to see, especially with these kind of robots, giving you function and quality like that. We can also hit record function. So right now it's recording what it sees, which is sees me. And from there, again, I can hit start stepping and you can see me move it about. So I hit up a little bit. You can see how fast it moves. Right now I'm doing a very little bit move it back, move it left, and I can move it right. And I can also like twist at the same time. And hit stop. 
So it's kind of neat that there's so much you can do with it. So we have other functions as well, including slope. So if we're going on a slope, we'll just hit slope right over here. So you can see how it changes its walking steps. This is an obstacle. This will make sure that it can go through any obstacles. We have stairs, which are higher steps. And this is a trot run, or trot. And back to walk. And of course, you can hit stop stepping. So that is actually pretty cool. So you have all these different functions here on the bottom based on your liking. Now you also have other performances, including uh, long jump. So this is an action. So they have their own custom actions in here. Introduction to our physical buttons, showing all the different things. Uh, so aside using the touch screen, you can always use the physical buttons and control it like that. All right, so for this test here, we're gonna see how it handles going up a step. Uh, so I have a step right over there. So I'm gonna hit start stepping and I'm gonna hit stare. So we're gonna go ahead and slowly move it up. So there you are. So it was able to go ahead and climb that stair successfully. Uh, and then you can go ahead and position it whatever you like. Uh, again, it can go up to multiple steps as well and climb stairs as well. Hit start stepping again. We'll go back down. You can see how it detects that there's a step there before it happens and it'll automatically correct itself. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, aside that, the robot itself has the capability of carrying weight. So yes, you can go ahead and put weight on top of it. All right, so we're gonna try this here. We're gonna have it carry a question mark box. So yeah, not bad. But can it actually support a weight of a human? So let's see how that plays out. All right, so this is the real test here. <laughs> it's actually supporting my weight. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, I don't know if it can actually step with me on there, but let's try that. I'm kind of curious. Oh, okay, okay. And it's struggling. Ah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it can carry a good amount of weight. Obviously, not 180 pounds worth, but yes, when it's standing, it can definitely carry my weight. Ha <laughs> ha. Pretty cool, so kind of shows you what that's about. I mean, obviously these robots here are a little bit more agile in the sense that it can do tricks and things like that. So like this one here could do a backflip, which I've already previously mentioned, but here's a demonstration. You can see, <laughs> obviously this is more of an entertainment aspect and something that's more agile and more fun like on the spot goes. Uh, but this here is more for the industrial use, which makes sense for what it is. All right, well, there you guys have it. This here is the X30. Definitely a incredible robot dog, the nonetheless. And I can see this being really useful in the outdoor use. Definitely a great field robot. And if you're in the market for something like this, be sure to go ahead and check it out in the link below in the description. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions about the X30, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.